Okay, first things first. Look at my babies. Guys, I ordered myself roses and that's on 12K. It just came in an hour ago. So I was going to record this video anyway, um, because I haven't done a sit down in a while. But anyway, I will do the intro just now. I just, but for now, it's just, that's what I appreciate. I forgot what's the, anyway, I will put that Instagram handle down below. Yeah. In case you guys want to order and get yourself some cute flowers. My babies, I'm so happy. I love them so much. Anyway. space if you're new here please feel free to join the family there's enough room for everyone and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back um so guys please do please do the right thing and like this video subscribe and leave comments down below and please do share this video sharing goes a really long way um so that we can get more subscribers um so i i haven't really been consistent actually i i just missed one friday and i, I wasn't feeling well i just felt like um I, I i'm i'm recording all these things and posting them and no one is actually i cannot read really no one but like most people aren't really appreciating it like nobody really cares and i feel like that really broke my heart because i put so much effort into this thing the editing and um all that so it would have been really nice if like more people appreciate it. But I'm really glad for the people that I hear you guys have stuck with me since day one. I'm really, I really, I'm really grateful. That's what I wanted to say. But yeah, I really appreciate it so much. It it means a lot. And I'm doing this for you guys. So yeah, I mean, I also did have a few personal problems. Um, been going through it hard. <laughs> been going through it hard but you know i'm out now i think you know all you know, these things happen guys life happens life happens and you just need to pick yourself up so, you know, it's it's so sad like things happen and the world doesn't stop for you to recover like things just happen and you just now we have to go at the flow it's it's so hard and it's so painful and that's just but yeah we need to just pick ourselves up and carry on because the world's not gonna stop anyway um so this video is reflections basically um about my 2020 um you guys can't see this anyway these are questions i got them on instagram but since I'm recording using my phone, I can't, um, yeah, so I had to write them down. I have 10 questions here and I will answer them as honestly as I can. So, um, yeah, mostly reflections, those questions. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you guys do like them and you guys should also do this thing. I don't know. I don't advise you guys to do it. Um, okay, let's start um what did you learn about yourself in 2020 what did i learn about myself or did I learn? oh i learned that um whenever i decided to put my mind and heart into i will succeed basically because yeah those are points where some things seemed so impossible to do for me but i put my energy and my heart and my focus and everything into it and it would actually succeed so yeah i, I think that's the one thing i learned about myself and i love it i 
I was about to sing. <laughs> anyway, okay, yeah. I learned that about myself and I learned that I have a really kind heart. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing because you're the I learned that about myself, you know. Because, like, when I look back at the things that people did to me last year, and I'm just like, hey, bruh, that's what you did to me, but you're still here, you know. And no, no, no bad vibes. I'm still the type of adults again. I forgive you, but I'm not going to be one of the grudge, no. But, like, you think about him just like, bruh, you really did me like that. That's what you did to me. But yeah, I, I actually realized that I have a really kind heart that other people might take advantage of, but it's fine. I mean, I'm working on that part here with the like, say, using me and all that. So yeah, that's something that I'm working on. So, But yeah, that's what I learned about myself. What else? Yeah, I think pretty much it um what lessons what lessons did i learn in 2020 actually it's not 2020 i think it's something that i realized this year like could see you can't wait for people to do things for you you know like some things you just have to show up for yourself that's what i learned this year I don't know what I learned last year. Last year was just guys being a paranormal. We were just team. Everyone was just like we had a lot of problems individually. Everyone had problems. I had problems. And basically 2020 was just me fighting those problems. You know. And I feel like um December it was so hard. You know. It was so hard. Like I was literally fighting for my life. Literally. That's just how this that's just how hard 2020 was, you know. You're biting paranomiki, you're biting school, online learning. Can you tell you it's been a lot? Uh, uh, no, I didn't learn anything from that year. I didn't learn anything. Things did. What, what I was doing that year was just trying to survive, basically. That's what I was doing. Learning, nah, nothing. I didn't learn anything. I just learned something this year. Because you know what? We can't wait for people to do things for you because they might not you know so and that means everything can't wait for someone to spoil you go spoil yourself can't wait for someone to be there for you be there for yourself can't wait for someone to love you love yourself so yeah i think that's what i learned this year gonna be a great year for me <laughs> i'm just kidding okay who supported you the most um my friends they did um my best friends Gakulu. um guys now nah, i'm so blessed to have friends like this <sighs> truly i'm so blessed um from youtube i i, I learned doing nails and I feel like when I was learning that skill, I I kept on doubting myself about cool and they were there for me. Like, no, you're doing great, you're doing you're doing fine. Carry on pushing, carry on pushing, you know. And most things I wanted to give up on, they were there. My friends, they were there. Like, yeah, carry on. When I was sad, they were there, uh, and I'm just so willing. My friends, my best friends, they did the most for me. Um, they were the ones who supported me the most throughout from January to December. They've been there for me. So, and I, I'm so grateful for them. Maybe you guys can see this. I love you. I love you. Um, okay. What did you want to do, but didn't, um, I wanted to save money. I wanted to raise my 10,000. I wanted to go and invest that money. But since we were in a paranomic, I couldn't because I was at home and I don't get allowance for being at home. It's just like, since you have everything here, what do you need the money for? So I couldn't save. 
but i'm trying to save this year this is other saving plan that i'm trying to do i will put a picture here or there or, or here or wherever but yeah that's what i'm trying to do and i pray that i do it basically because sometimes i just do things in the shame because it's in something i'm not proud of but you know everyone does it so don't judge me okay um how did you practice self-care um i started journaling last year for me that's self-care i started journaling last year i started out i started going out alone more often and i just want to say that i don't trust people who don't go out on their own like what is it that you're so afraid of why don't you go out on your own to sit there and eat why do you why do you always feel like you need people around you for you to have fun i mean i'm not attacking you guys but like there's something that you guys should try doing go out alone have a drink have a cup of coffee and just read a book it doesn't it's not sad you're not sad you just be like you just need like to go out and be alone and that's not sad right it's not so i i went out a lot um i started reading again um i started journaling i'd take walks i tried exercising but yeah that didn't work out but i'm gonna do it again uh what are you most proud of what am i most proud of the fact that i survived guys it was a tough year okay it was a very tough year and the fact that i survived and i made it out it's a blessing honestly it's a blessing because yo wow mm, guys mm. so i'm proud of myself that i i made it out and i'm proud of the fact that i wrote i wrote a new year's resolution list and i ticked most of the boxes yes i did that most of the things that i've wanted to do i did them and i couldn't be any more proud so i did that and i'm so proud of it okay what do you want to do differently this year this year um i really want to take care of myself the most because last year i was i felt like i feel like i was there for everyone but myself you know like if you need me i'm there for you but if i need me then no so i, I feel like i want to be there for myself kakulu i want to take care of myself i want to make sure my mental health is always grinding always righty um so basically 2021 is just self-care so yeah that's what I want to do differently this year. I just want to make myself a priority. First priority. Um, what made you laugh the hardest? I don't know if the series counts. Because I want to say Superstore. Superstore in the office. Those made me laugh the most. And my jokes. Obviously. Because I'm a funny person. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the best and... Oh, what is the best and worst thing that happened to you the best thing is that oh the worst thing is that um i got my heart broken in 2020 and then the best thing is that i fell in love in 2020 again so um what happened was it wasn't my new year's resolutions for you know at the time i'm allowing myself to love someone completely and to fall in love and allow someone to love me you know that was i wrote that down because you know like the previous years um uh, i'm so sorry to all my exes but you know anyway so that's what i wrote down which is like it's nine again and whatever relationship or talking stage or whatever i'm fully in so that's what i did yeah and the first person i did that for natal omiaga mm -hmm. 
guys, when I that night, I was crying the entire night. I could feel my heart in pain, literally, physically. Like my heart was. That was the worst. I won't lie. It was the. I, and I feel like Bengazi. Cause like. I've heard heartbreaks, but not a lot. And like the song, the song has been a way to be heartbroken. So when I was, yeah, guys, that was just the worst moment of my life, worst month, week, whatever. Um, and then um, I was like, you know what? I made a resolution, so I need to do this. So like, let me try again. So I fell in love with someone, and yeah, it's still growing strong. Okay, yeah, but I did fall in love with someone uh, as I love genuinely, so yeah. So that's the best and the worst thing that happened to me last year. And then, what skills do you acquire? I learned how to do nails during a paranomic, so that I'm also proud of. Um, yeah, those are skills that I learned. I watched YouTube videos and then I also went for lessons, so that's a skill that I learned in 2020. Um, I don't want to say I'm so excited to see what 2021 has in store for me. I'd be lying, but you know, let's see what she got, you know, and we'll just take it as it comes. I mean, we weren't expecting a pandemic, but we made it up, so yeah, let's just see what 2020, 2021 has in store for us, and yeah. Anyway, guys, I think this is where I'm going to end my video. I will try my best to be consistent um, and post as much as I can. Um, so if you guys liked this video and you'd like to see more of me just sitting down and talking, please mention it in the comments below and please like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And please don't forget to share this video. It it would really mean a lot if you guys would share this video for me. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna end the video. Um yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.